We're going to run through one of the homework problems. It's on page 318, and it's number 13C. And it uses something that we haven't used in class yet. So I want to show you how similar this is to what we've already been doing. Just like always, we're going to have a given and a find. So our given in this case is 11.5 grams of mercury. And the find is how many particles, and in this case the particles are atoms of mercury, does this represent? So we have actually a couple of things to consider. First of all, this number right here, this is used to go from moles to atoms. Now we're not going to use that in this particular problem at this point. Not at the beginning anyway. Okay? Not at the beginning. No, 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 no. We're going to use it later on though. So let's look and see what our solution is going to look like. The first thing is going to be that we take the given, which is 11.5 grams of mercury, right here, and we're going to put that guy over 1. Next, fraction. Because we have grams of mercury here, we have to have grams of mercury down here. And this particular fraction represents the molar mass. And the molar mass comes from the periodic table. So, in the periodic table we find that 201 is the mass that is at the bottom of the box on the periodic chart. So if we look at the periodic chart, we see 200.59 right down here, and that represents the molar mass. And what is the molar mass? It is how many grams of that particular atom you would have to weigh out to get one mole of mercury atoms. And that's called the molar mass. The mole of, of uh, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of mercury is going to weigh 200 point, or 201 uh, grams when we round it. I'm going to take this 5 and I'm going to round the 0 up to a 1, which is what we're doing back here. So let's go back and you see where we got that little dude from. And from the periodic chart, we know that 201 grams of mercury is going to be equal to one mole of mercury. So let's carry on. And the next thing we have, since this gets us into moles, and by the way, we have just been able to eliminate those two guys because they have canceled out. And now we're looking at moles of mercury. And this is where we are actually going to use this number right up here. Because for anything, one mole of anything is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd representative particles. And so when we see that we have moles on the top of this fraction, that means we have to have the moles on the bottom of the next fraction. And so when we pull this guy down, you'll see what we have indeed is one mole of mercury, and then the top side of the fraction is the other side of this equality. So the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd goes to the top. And now all we have to do is run the numbers through our calculator, and we have it. And that number works out to 0 0.344 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Now look what we've done to be able to get here. We have taken this little guy, put him on the bottom, and that cancels out, and the only unit of measure left is mercury itself. And when we try to get this th guy solved, we're actually going to come down to this number right down here. And this number is 3.44 times 10 to the 22. And the reason the 22 went down is because back up here, 
we had the decimal here, and we moved it to here to make it into scientific notation, which is one number, the decimal, and then however many sig figs we have right here. And then the 10 to the 22 is, because this guy moved to here, it went the same direction as the positive 23, and that makes the thing have to go down. It requires less horsepower here to be able to get to the same place. And that's where the 10 to the 22 comes from. And that's our final answer. And in all your homework tonight, we're doing exactly the same thing. We're starting out with grams of some atom, and we are making that into, um, whoops, this is not grams. This is moles. Wow. Let's fix that right now. Moles. No, no, this is a atoms. I'm sorry. Atoms. Atoms of mercury. Okay? So this is mercury atoms, not grams. And that's it. And that's the way they'll all be. Because you're going to take the given, you're going to multiply it by the molar mass, uh, the molar mass fraction, that is, and moles will be on the top, but the grams will be on the bottom, which that is the molar mass, and that will cancel out, and then you're going to use the AVO number over here to take you the rest of the way. And that's how you work with three fractions at a time, and all your homework problems should look just like this, only numbers will be different.